Hello and welcome to a demonstration of the ALM Busy Circuits MCO. I apologize for the terrible camera angle as I need to use my laptop's camera as I do not have a proper camera yet so that I can be a famous YouTube modular synth demonstration person. But this hopefully gives you an idea of the possibilities of the ALM Busy Circuits MCO VCO. I will now start with the output. This bypasses the pulse wave modulation knob and just gives you the straight uh, routing from the wave knob, which I will go through. As you can see, you start with noise. Now I will go through the pulse wave modulation output and for each sound I will wiggle the pulse wave modulation knob. There is also a sub out, which is just giving you a square wave, uh, which is neither here nor there, but uh, it's nice to mix in with um, the po pulse wave modulation or the out to give you more body to your sound. As you can see, the knobs do nothing. It is just a square wave, but it is synced to the tuning knob, obviously. Now what I will do is I will do some modulation to give you an idea. You can modulate the pulse width modulation, the type of pulse width modulation, and the wave selection. I am outputting a uh, free LFO from my Batumi module. Now I will modulate the type of pulse width modulation. I had it in the uh, out, just the straight out, which bypasses the pulse width modulation. So that goes to show you that the uh, modulating type when pulse width modulation is not effective here. So you have to actually go into the pulse width modulation input. <laughs> Now I will modulate the pulse width modulation. Now I'm going to modulate all three modulatable inputs at once. Thank you. 
I'm going to put the Batumi into the new quad LFO as I have it set up for uh, the advanced firmware. I feel that you get very interesting results with this. Now I'm going to go instead of straight, I'm going to set up a sequence using the MUM8 uh, MUM M8 VCA and filter, which I think is an excellent com uh, companion to the MCO, but obviously you can use a filter or whatever you'd like, as you would like. I'm going to take a pattern out of my Batumi. I'm going to use my IntelliGel noise tools as a clock source, which I will then use to clock my mimetic digitalis. And also clock my Pons Asinorum uh, quad envelope generator, which will then affect VCA. And it's just fun to hear um, this being modulated. Oh, I forgot to put it into the pulse, uh, pulse wave modulation. So let's hear how that sounds. to use that same pattern, but I am going to use my um, IntelliGel Quadrat Attenuverter to take both the pulse wave modulation output and the sub output and mix them together to give a pretty dynamic um, fuller sound. And one of the cool things for developing live music with this is um, Quadrat is normalized, so I can kind of start a song off with just the uh, the top line and then bring in the sub as it goes on, which I will do right now. Let's see. Okay, so there's the pulse width modulation being modulated by the Batumi. And you can bring in the subline, which gives it a lot, a lot of body. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then I can uh, sync my Batumi. And while we're doing this, why don't we just add some delay? That'll be fun. Just to show you, like, what you can do with a very inexpensive module such as the MCO. This is a WMD DPLR, which, while not having a clock of the sink, I found is a very gross and dirty and wonderful delay. There, I've uh, made the envelope a, a triangle instead of saw down. So there you have it. That's the uh, MCO by ALM Busy Circuits. It's a rather inexpensive and simple VCO, but as with all things modular, VCO typically is only as good as the modulation that you throw at it and how you integrate it into your patch. So I hope that this has helped you. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.